everyone what's up i am doing a weather video here for you today and we're going to talk about the big temperature divide across the country and basically what we have is our jet stream is playing some kind of just funky role right now over the past just week or so actually almost over the past month basically the jet stream is making a ridge in the west and a trough in the east and that is bringing us record warmth and dry conditions in the west kind of just middle to average temperatures in the plains and the um, Gulf Coast and everything. But then we have a trough in the east and that's bringing record cold actually and some snow. Um, today is the 28th of March and we have snow across the Great Lakes and the interior northeast. And we also have extremely cold temperatures. Temperatures that you find in January, not the end of March. Temperatures today in DC here, only about 40 degrees and it is windy and there's a wind chill of about between like 28 to 30 degrees outside. So you have to bundle up if you're in the mid-Atlantic, definitely in the northeast, and even places in the south. Atlanta only in the 40s today. Places even in Florida are under a freeze watch overnight, tonight into Sunday morning. It is going to get down to right around 30, 29 degrees in some of the places in Panhandle of Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina. So if you do have those early spring plants outside, bring them in or cover them up because it is going to be very, very cold. Now over in the West, we have the heat, basically. We've been setting records, actually, over the past week. And two days ago, Death Valley, California, reached 100 degrees, which is the first time that anywhere in the United States has reached 100 degrees for this year of 2015. So quite remarkable for the fact that it is only March and we hit 100 degrees in Death Valley. And there are some other places also in Arizona and California that are definitely nearing that 100 degree mark today as well. The heat is going to continue into the west and the record cold is going to continue into the east for this weekend. But there's a silver lining. We are going to start seeing a pattern change. Basically what the jet stream is going to do is it's going to kind of just not completely level out, but instead of doing this, it's basically going to be going like a little bit more, a bit more kind of just slanted and everything. There'll still be a little bit dip here and there, but it won't be as extreme as we've seen over the past several weeks. So basically what is that going to do? It's going to bring down our temperatures in the West and also provide some moisture in the Pacific Northwest next week. So Seattle, Portland, um, Idaho, Montana, other places in the Rockies expect to see some rainy conditions, even coming into the Northern parts of California where we desperately need it. So that's going to be a good thing. Over into the Midwest, we are going to have believe it or not, another snowstorm coming into parts of the northern tier of the country and going into the Great Lakes. Not a big, big event, but definitely something to look at since it is already spring and it is going to be April next week. So if you live in the upper Midwest, I am unfortunate to say that you are going to see some spring snow, but it is not actually that uncommon here in parts of the Midwest. I mean, places here do see snow all the way until May sometimes, so definitely not out of the um, question to um, see snow at the, uh, the turn of April and everything. Going into the East Coast, we're finally going to gradually see those temperatures rebound after such a cold, cold weekend this weekend. DC, we're going to be back up into the 60s, finally at or a little bit above average for the majority of next week. The only really true exception is going to be far northern New England, where temperatures are still going to be hovering about 5 to 10 degrees below average for next week. But even there, they're eventually going to see temperatures moderate over the next couple of weeks or so. And the long-term forecast that I've been looking at is seeing that in the middle of April, we are going to finally see a ridge, a pressure, a high pressure, um, a high pressure system build in the Western Atlantic. And that's going to pump in southerly warm flow from the Gulf into the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast. So in a couple weeks, it's going to feel a lot more like spring on the East Coast. Now, what is that going to do for the West Coast? It actually is going to dig a little trough into the West Coast. So places in the West, especially in the Pacific Northwest, in the Northern Rockies, 
expect to see cooler than normal temperatures in the upcoming weeks and everything. So, and then the rest of the um, country is basically going to just hang around average for the next couple of weeks or so. However, with the moisture flow that we are going to get up from the Gulf of Mexico and with the jet stream kind of just making its way across the middle section of the country, it is going to spark some thunderstorm and severe weather activity in the upcoming weeks and everything. So if you live anywhere from the Gulf Coast, say, oh, Louisiana, Mississippi, going into Kentucky and the Ohio River Valley, expect to see some scattered storms and possibly some severe weather coming into the picture over the next couple of weeks. But I definitely will have more info on that as well. Just want to talk about the big temperature swing that has been happening over the past uh, couple of weeks and the change that we're going to finally get over the next week or so. So that is my weather video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. You can check out more weather videos on my channel and you'll see a lot more of them coming up in the next couple of weeks. Until next time, remember to keep your eye to the sky. Bye!